Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, well, I think it uh, was true to form and as expected. It uh, was an attractive plus. Um, a typical derby game. Uh, we were uh, absolutely from the last game. Uh, where we beat them, they were uh, over the down. So, uh, you know, we expected them to, to come out and get a reaction and to react in the, in the way that they did after uh, losing at home against us. And, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a good game for the fans. I thought uh, it was an entertaining game. Of course, the fans would want us to win, but in terms of entertainment, it was good. Uh, some of the time wasted, uh, spoiled, the entertainment at times. And, um, I thought we had uh, a number, a number of chances uh, in both halves uh, to um, to win the game. Okay, questions. Yeah, questions. Two questions for you. You won the first. Uh, you won the first game, the first leg at Aswan. Well, three goals to the to the. What happened to your team? Your team's looked tight. And the second one, how do you well uh, for Cop now? The way it's been today, like it's a little bit pressure on him. Uh, I can only concentrate on one question at a time, I'm like you, you know, I can't multitask. Uh, so, uh, I, I felt that uh, our players put a huge amount of effort into the game, and uh, they pushed and pushed and pushed, and uh, that's what I expected. So, if you push and push and you put a lot of effort into the game, you're going to be tired. <laughs> you know, really pushing, so, uh, I, mean, I was expecting them to be tired. Um, and coming up is uh, the thing about Copenhagen is that uh, Copenhagen tries Copenhagen in his head and uh, can also do things that other players can't. So sometimes he's trying things that uh, you know they don't come off, but when they do come off, yeah, it's wonderful, it's fantastic. So you have to give him a little bit of slack. You know, the man, the man can win you a game with one touch of the ball. So you have, you've got to, um, you know, you've got to give him a little bit of slack. And what, what did improve, what has improved with uh, Cobra, uh since he's come into the team is defensively he's got better. Um, he's more disciplined in his approach when you don't have the ball. And that's, that's the things that a lot of people don't see. A lot of people just see what he does on the ball. But um, he's, you know, his, his uh, discipline and his, uh, his help to the team when they don't have the ball has, uh, has improved immensely in the last uh, in the last few months. So, uh, you know, we take, we take half from that. Coach, please. Do you see your team as vulnerable, looking at the game? Yeah, yeah. It depends on you look at it. You know, we're not a team that's going to sit back and, uh, you know, part of us. Absolutely not. I don't want to play football like that. I don't want to be a coach that, uh, that has the managers and looks after the team like that. I want my, my players to go and play and try to score goals and be entertaining. I think that's part of football. It's uh, what's uh, required at Hazard Oak. It's what's required at all the big clubs. And uh, as a result, there are possibilities in some situations where you may be, there may be some space and uh, we may be slightly open at certain times. But given that we were pushing and pushing and pushing, then, you know, we live with it. We live with it. Coach, um, what would you say went wrong for your team today? And what are some of the positives you picked in this game? I think uh, the only thing that went wrong for us today is that um, we only put one goal in the back of the net, uh, despite having a number of chances. So. If we take the chances we had, then we win the game. And the positives? The positives, uh, the, the intensity, the desire, the work rate, the motivation, uh, the pushing right to the end of the game, uh, the fact that we are creating the chances and continue to create the chances, that's uh, the most important thing. Uh, coach, uh, what would you say about your winger, um, Patrick Razak, um, for the numbers? Uh, he doesn't have good number in terms of assistant goals. Uh, most of the times, his last ball also ends up with the opposing team. So, 
So what would you say about him? Second, what's the state of defender Nimoa Samoa, Daniel Kodi and Malik uh, uh, Malik Akua? Malik Akua. Okay. Um, what was the first question? The first question was your observation of Patrick Razak. Yeah, Patrick's a young, a young player. He gets into good um, good areas and in the final third um, to put good passes, final passes to other players or score a goal potentially or put a good crossing. So he's, he's a developing player and uh, you know, he, he, he certainly has to improve his, uh, his uh, final ball and some of his decision making. But I think with practice and with time and, and more exposure as a player playing at a high level, that will come. Uh, with regard to um, the players you mentioned, injuries, you're talking about injuries. You're talking about they've got some of the reasons which are helping. So yeah, Malik is, uh, Malik's in the squad, he's trained uh, all week, trained well. Um, but uh, as I already mentioned, uh, you know, we've got Leonard in there, we've got man in the match today. Uh, Leonard, uh, I feel it's played well, and he deserves to be in the team. Sure, I could, I could play with Leonard and, and Malik in the same team, but you know that, that starts to make, make us a little bit more defensive and, and set up defensively, and uh, possibly at least as uh, only playing with one striker, uh, and I don't want to play over with one striker. So, you know, uh, we have to try to, try to get a balance in, our, in the team selection as a result. Um, the other one is Nemo, Nemo's fit. Um, You know, I've got, I've got another right back that's uh, currently doing well as well, uh, both uh, the team and the local black stars. Um, so, Patel deserves to be in the team. He was pushing. Um, it may be in the future that, you know, Nemo goes to the right side of midfield or, and uh, Patel stays the right back or vice versa. So, that's, that's uh, we've done that before and been successful. So, you know, there are opportunities for Nemo in a couple of positions. Uh, but um, he's fit, he's available, just unfortunately he's not in the squad today. Uh, the other one, I can't remember who else you mentioned. You mentioned someone else. And this, uh, and this is uh, a little bit you know, we have on his injury. He'll be uh, out for some time. Uh, but we need the operations and our operations, and uh, we're looking forward to having him back as a man. You mentioned Nusa, can you give us an update on Robin? Robin's fit. Robin's fit, Robin's uh, training, Robin's uh, training for quite a few weeks now. And um, yeah, again, you know, the players that are, that are in the team who are doing well in this position. And uh, the players know that uh, there's competition for places and they know that they don't automatically come straight back into the team after injury. If the players are playing well, that would be very unfair on the players that are, are playing well and it's just not the way that I operate. So. They just, these guys just have to be patient and buy the time. Yeah. Okay, okay coach, um, 16 matches, 27 points. Is the team playing at the level you want them to play? Uh, to a certain extent, yes. Of course, as I've mentioned before, you know, we'd like, we'd like us to, uh, to finish off some of the chances we've created. So, if you're saying, you know, are we playing at the level we want to play? Um, well, we can go to a higher level by, by scoring more goals. Uh, but uh, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the things that we, things that we do do, we do very well. Uh, it's just the, the, the polishing, polishing off in the final part in the, in the, in the last part of the game, in the last of last the game. It's okay, it's okay. How did you see the officiating to it? Because during the game, I saw you complain big time about some of the decisions of the referees. Well, I just asked for clarification on some points. Um, Where would you go cross camera like that? I received the clarification, so that's that's all I have to say on the matter. But please, have you been told that uh, maybe in the course of the week the stadium will be closed down for renovation works to begin here? And by the way, you guys are going to play home matches. Well, to be honest, that's, a, that's, that's an administrative matter, and, uh, and you know, it's, that's, that's, that's not a. You know, I was aware of it. I was aware of it. Um, I have been aware of it. I am aware of it. Uh, but it's, in terms of the organisation of what happens. Um, 
and when it happens, it's uh, for other people in the club to, um, to discuss stuff. And, but I'm aware of it, yeah. Coach, um, when the transfer window opened, you were with the team for 14 weeks, but um, you didn't make recruitment to maybe augment your squad. Did you feel that there were no players you felt were an upgrade to your team? Um, there, were a couple of, there were a couple of players that uh, I looked, looked at. There were a couple of players that uh, I tried to get and tried to bring into the squad. Um, but only a couple, uh, because uh, I believe we've got good players here. And uh, I think there's a lot more to come from them. And uh, you know, if you're going to bring players into the squad, they've got to be, they've got to be better than what you have. So you know, I looked at a few things, a few players, but uh, it wasn't possible. And um, you know, I, would, I didn't want a situation where we were bringing in uh, other players who are mediocre and below the level that I've got. In the squad already, that would, that's that's not a good idea. So um, and that's that's a waste of money. So I wouldn't do that. Um, so anybody that comes to the that comes to the squad uh, needs to be better than what we have. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Uh, Kwame, uh, this is virtually your third season with us of Folk, and in all the seasons, you find it very difficult to break into the first team. There are sections of the fans that say you are the darling boy of the coach, and the coach loves you, that's why he's giving the playing time. Uh, do you uh, uh, affirm that assertion? Yes, that's true. Always, the coach always tells me that I'm in this game, so I should keep on working hard, I should keep on training hard, and through my training, like everything will work out for me. So we, we, we try to put me inside the game. So I think I'm doing what I'm playing. So through my training, that's helping me to get the situation. I feel happy to play 90 minutes. It's not easy, but you know, playing 90 minutes, that means the coach knows what he's doing. And giving me the chance to play that team, I have to put myself on the pitch. Because it was difficult for me through the season. This is my third season for the happy book. And what I was praying for now, I have to prove to the fans and the technical team that I can do it. And now I'm fighting back to the team.